Good morning, travelers. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I'm going to put together several clips that I've taken throughout the week and uh, let you see what's been going on. I'm still over here at Oz's property. The party is long since gone, but there's a few of us that are still here. And there's some of their rigs. A few of us are still here. Not everybody ran away yet. So I've been driving back and forth to my place just about every day to get some work done. And um, gotta go back over there today and fill some more sandbags. Had some uh, eventful activities happen in the last 24 hours. Um, one of the things is, is almost, uh, I can't say almost, but there was a very great possibility my van could have caught on fire yesterday. Uh, I was working in there trying to edit this video and the power went off for my entire van and I was like, okay, what happened? Because I just, as you know, if you watched the last video, I just recently put in lithium battery power, which I do not have any battery monitoring systems in place yet to tell me what my battery's doing. I can only guess. And uh, it completely went dead and I'm like, okay, what happened? So I got to looking around and I tested the battery and it had nothing in it. So I turned the generator on. I'm like, okay, this can't be so. We've had sunshine for the last several days. Turned the generator on, jump started the battery, and I was able to test it. It was at 14.1 or something like that. So, okay, I've got battery power. Now what's wrong? So I had everything unplugged because when you check everything, you unplug everything, you turn off everything you can before you check batteries. So we turned on the generator and all of a sudden, no battery power again. Okay, so I've narrowed it down. Not the generator, excuse me. I turned on the inverter and no power. So okay, that narrows it down to either the plugins that are coming out of the inverter or the inverter itself. So I unplugged everything, jumped the battery over again with the generator it's back up to 14 something and I turn on the inverter and nothing drops every all the powers off I'm like okay it's probably the inverter so I unhook the inverter so I unhook that I unhook everything jump start the battery again the battery's going fine so I take the inverter over to my property and pick up the inverter that's in my um, solar shed bring it back hook it up and everything's working fine. So to test the inverter I took out of the van, I hooked it up to the lead acid batteries over in the solar shed. And immediately upon hooking that up, I got sparks and fire. So if I had had lead acid batteries in my van instead of a lithium that has a BMS system, that cut off the power, I would have had a uh, fire in my van and possibly become homeless. So, what's the moral of this story? I don't know. I don't know what the moral is. The only thing I can say is thank God, and I am thanking God, that my van did not burn down. Nobody was hurt in this process. I was able to change out... Um, inverters because I had a second one that I had purchased. I also had a really small one that's not very big that I'm going to check out today. It's hooked up in the solar shed running the little freezer. I'm going to make sure that worked through the night and is still working. But it's a real tiny one. It's for a 175 watt inverter. The one I've got going on right now is a 1500 watt inverter running the house. So right now everything's working, everything's fine. I'll be going over to the house to check that out. I'll be going over to um, pound some fence posts in to put up some chains across the gates, 
area so people don't drive in after I leave and I'll also be going over and filling some more sandbags. Uh, hopefully I can take you with me now that I have this fancy little tripod and uh, microphone that should pick up my voice even when I'm away from the phone um, and camera equipment. So hopefully I can take you with me and let you actually see what I'm doing because I'm a disabled individual so I can't do it like everybody else does it. I have to use whatever devices I can to make my life easier and to be able to do the job without killing myself. Um, I also have to pace myself so that I don't work too many long hours. And long hours for me can be one or two hours. Um, I get wiped out really quick. My body starts hurting really quick. So I do what I can do with what I can and do it as slow as I possibly can with as many devices as I possibly can to make the job easier. Anyway, uh, this is just an intro to the video, and for those of you who have never been here before, welcome. You are watching Traveling with the Graham Cracker. I am the Graham Cracker. I do travel videos. Right now I am sitting at my friend's homestead because with the rains that we get out here in the desert, I cannot get my motorhome out of my property any longer this season. So I'm at my friend's property, and my property is a mile down the road, so I can take my four-wheel drive vehicle uh, trooper over there and do the work I have to do during the day and then come back here at night. Uh, around November 1st, when the temperatures plummet, I will be leaving this area and traveling again for the winter, heading south where it'll be a little bit warmer. I'm not set up for winter living yet. That is coming in a year or two. That's coming as soon as I can get it done. But welcome aboard. Uh, glad you're here. Uh, hit that like button, please. That brings us up in the algorithm and more people can see that I've posted a video. Uh, subscribe, please. That helps us grow as well. I'm really trying to get to that 10,000 mark. I'm at 7,000 something where I've been for a year. So please hit that subscribe. I know there's a lot of you on here uh, that don't watch. And if you are watching today, thank you for coming back. There's a lot of you on here that have not subscribed. So please subscribe. Anyway, without further ado, we'll get back to the video clips and with some and see what else we can put this video together with all right hopefully it's not too long we'll talk to you later talk to you when we get done today well nature's gone and done it it is official there is snow up on the san francisco peaks and this is october 2nd 2022 it's been cold here all day. It's been about 50 degrees. And uh, I'm going to have to go buy me a new heater. Mine just quit. That's okay. It'll be warm for the next week or so and I'll be able to go get one. Just about sunset. And somebody... is having a bonfire. If I didn't know there was somebody over there, it looked like Jimmy's rig, but it's not. Somebody is over there. It's a big fire. Anyway, cold, wet day. Bruce's burning limbs. <sighs> My camera is just not focusing on this. Oh, I just have him down here at the bottom. He's going through the gate now. Oh, he's coming this way now. Uh-huh. No. 
No. I caught a horny toad yesterday and put it in Aja's garden. A little small one. I think he wants to move into Terry's trailer. I think he wants to move in. I think Quark wants him real bad. Yeah, he's uh, wanting to go into Terry's place. Lost him. That, my dear friends, is a tarantula hawk. There's a few of them in here that are dead, but this one's moving around. He's got the most vicious sting of any wasp there. He's about two inches long. This is my hand and him in comparison. He's on the other side of that net and I'm not getting any closer, but yeah, he's, he's like that big. But that is a tarantula hawk. They kill tarantulas and eat them. Well, their babies eat them. I don't know what these guys eat, but he's trapped. And there's a couple dead ones in there too. Flagstaff this morning, and this other window over here is really dirty, so I apologize for that. But the leaves on the aspens are changing, and uh, this is the peaks. This is Arizona peaks or San Francisco peaks, excuse me. But this is the peaks this morning. Beautiful. Yo, garden update. I don't know what you can see because I can't see my screen. Hopefully you can hear me. But this is what's going on with the garden. Everything's grown really, really big. Um, I have lots of tomatoes. Take a look down there. All the tomatoes on the vine. They will be ripe soon, I'm sure. Tomatoes up high on the vine. Uh, my lettuce, I've eaten it twice. It's already grown back. Carrots, I don't know if they're going to be ready, but they look like they're doing pretty good. Anyway, just, just an update on the garden. I'll get this video out to you as fast as I can.
Now, will that keep people out? I don't think so. It just keeps people that think there's a road there from driving onto the property. Eventually, there'll be a fence here, but until then, hopefully this works somewhat. Um, I don't know, that'll work. But I drove on this property earlier this season and it looks like a road going through and I don't want people driving on it anymore. So this is the corner. Um, I'm gonna turn you around. Hi, Quark. What you looking at? Uh, you don't know. Anyway, this is the property. That is the neighbor's property over there. Quark, stay. And uh, the T posts are mine. That, uh, that's my property boundary out that way. And hopefully this will detour people from driving up on the property. All right. Okay, this is what I did the other day. I filled up all these sandbags and put them around the bottom. I still have the other side left to go. Um, right here, you'll see there's a bag missing. Uh, that's a rat hole. And I wanted to get the rat before I put the bag. And today I got the rat. So I'll be bagging that up today so no more rats can get in here. Um, around the back, there's brick. They haven't tried that spot. And then on this side, I started with the bags. And I've got to finish the bags up until I finish these bags rats and whatever can get in um but you know we're um we're gonna get this sealed off as best as i can and then hopefully that'll keep the rats out anyway digging sandbags or filling sandbags excuse me i'm not even digging them I'm just filling them i'm using this little hole here and that's the inverter that caught fire yesterday using this hole and I'm going back here in this little ditch and I'll make this a little deeper but it takes me a long time to fill up a couple little bags Well, that's how I fill two bags, and uh, I don't fill them to the top because they're too heavy to lift. And sorry, I'm wiggling everything, but these are full, as full as I'm going to get them. And that's a big old old rabbit hole that was dug last year. So there's some good soft, loose dirt in there where I don't have to dig. So that works. This is my temporary, temporary inverter. It's 175 uh, watts. And this freezer maxes out at 100 to start and 60 to run. So this is strong enough to run. It has a little fan in the back of it. Um, so far, the cords are not hot, so, and this has got a 20 amp fuse in it, and this is a 20 amp um, wire, so, and right now we're at 18 on the freezer, so it's not even kicking on. We've got four batteries hooked up, We've got two on the floor, and right now we're at what? What are we at? Where are we at right now? We're 14.4 coming in, which is really great. 14.4, I can handle that. That means my batteries are pretty much full. All four of those batteries are full. That is a charger that if I want to run the generator, I can. But the generator is attached to the van, so that's out. And then later, I'll attach these two batteries and put six of them in here. 
and there's 400 watts on the roof and I'll be adding more solar eventually but right now the four batteries to 400 watts plenty of power plenty 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 of power in case you're wondering where Jake is I'm going to show you where he's been all day there he is in the back of the car with all the doors and windows open just kicking back on his bed Jake doesn't do a whole lot anymore I'm lucky to still have him he just kind of lays around and every once in a while he gets a spurt of energy but mostly he just lays around and uh, yeah he's uh, in the car because his back legs don't work good he can't go run and play anyway I'm gonna give you one final look at my garden before I leave here today because I tied up everything so that the tomatoes would grow and because uh, they're getting awful heavy so they're all in here up in here so I am gonna get some tomatoes out of this and over here cut back the lettuce taking some home there's more tomato plants over there and carrots but everything's looking good Oh yeah, today I planted some avocado trees. Now they'll be traveling with me on the road. I don't know how many will survive. There's five here. Everybody says they won't survive up here in the cold and maybe they won't. But we'll see what I can grow. And who knows, maybe we grow one inside. Maybe we grow it so it's so big that it does last uh, the winters. We'll see. Today is October, so yeah, I planted those avocados. I don't know if they're going to make it. Anyway, put my gates up today, planted some trees today, worked on some garden stuff today, did all the sandbags. They're finished. Sandbags are completely done. They're completely finished around the red barn, all of them. We're going to go lock things up and then head back to Aja's, grab my keys, head back to Aja's. And see what everybody else is doing over there. Follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. And get out there and do something you enjoy today. All right, until the next time, we'll talk to you later. All right, bye-bye.